this is what you'll need to solder. MAPS gas is better than propane, so I suggest that. You'll need your flux, which there is water soluble, so it's more safe, so you don't have to really worry about it uh, harming your skin. You'll need your solder, which is right here. You'll need a three quarter inch brush and your half inch brush. That's most common for a home. You need emery cloth, and that's like sandpaper. So when you clean your piping, you want to clean the outside of the piping. So half inch, you want to clean uh, the, the ends that's going to be soldered together. And the same with the three quarter and your fitting. So that's a three quarter size, and that's the half inch size. So I'm going to clean this with the brushes, and I'll clean that with the sand cloth. Now that I cleaned this with the sand cloth, you can see a big distinct difference all the way around. I cleaned the inside of this as well. Now what you need to do is take your flux brush, get your flux on there, here's your flux, and then you just do a light coat. When you do a light coat, you just go like that, just coat it nice and lightly. You don't need a lot on. And then you use your other hand too, but I'm doing this with one hand, and you just clean you know, get it clean, but you do a light coat all the way around. And then the inside of your fitting as well, you want to put a light coat on the inside of your fitting too. The next step, we'll be putting the pipes together and soldering. When you begin to solder, you turn your torch on as high as it can go. Then you light it. Then you turn it down roughly right there and when you go to heat up the fitting you aim at the fitting down at an angle but you always want to start at the lowest part of the fitting so when you go to solder you want to aim up like that and when you solder the flux will actually turn almost a silver first and then when it starts to turn a silver you keep the heat at it and then you take your solder and you start up at the top part, and when it starts to puddle and melt in, you'll actually see it, the beads drop down to the bottom and drip off. Right when you see it start to melt away and beads down and drop off, that's when you you know pull the heat away, and then you flick the solder, uh, dribble it off, and then you continue on uh, to the upper part because the heat will transfer up.